What's up, folks, and welcome to Indie Ramble. So this is the second of the two puzzle games on the Switch that I talked about in my last video that uh, Roar Lab Games is putting out. Two games made in the Godot engine that originally got their start on PC and which he's sort of given a home on, on, the, on the Switch. And this one is also kind of a sort of minimalist zen puzzle game like Constellations was, but it's very, very different. And this is one I actually finished because it's not very long, but it's kind of a, a, a different spin on puzzles, let's put it that way. So this is Inhabit and it comes to us from a very small team, very much like Constellations did. And it's an interesting game because it's a game about cleaning up your house, but also kind of cleaning up your life. Um, it's got an interesting motif to it or theme to it. And the puzzles in this are challenging, but not overly so. I mean, it's a puzzle game I finished, right? So it's definitely a little un a little unexpected uh, for me in that way, because I don't tend to finish a lot of puzzle games. So the idea behind this is that you wake up as this character, which you can create and customize, uh, which is kind of cool. And you wake up in your house and you just are not feeling... <sighs> You're, you're just not feeling good. You've been... It, it doesn't go into specific detail about it, but it's it's clear that you've been either depressed or something like that. And as happens with a lot of people who have depression and other mental struggles like I do, is that a lot of the times you will tend to neglect your house. I've actually taught myself to not do that the last few years. I do not let my house get get too bad because... The worse it gets, the harder it gets to actually get into doing something about it, right? And it actually does help your mental health a lot to keep your space relatively clean and organized. Um, this isn't a mental lecture here, but uh, but this is what kind of the theme of this game is. It's about cleaning up your house and doing it in interesting sort of puzzly type ways. So. You have various different tasks that you can tackle. You have to do one of the tasks initially um, before you can tackle all the others. But after that, you can do them in any order. So you have to vacuum up bags of garbage. I know that's not really how bags of garbage works, but you know what I'm saying. So you have to uh, do bags of garbage. You have to water your garden. You have to go for a run and you have to let light into the house. And there's some other stuff beyond that that I won't spoil because it gets a little story heavy in that case. Each of these tasks, and I don't know if these are figments of your imagination or actual real things, but each of these tasks that you have is represented by one of these uh, avatars here, these ladies who come up and try to encourage you to go along and sort of explain the puzzles, but also try to encourage you and, and help you through your journey. And whenever you've completed one of the puzzles, you can summon them at any time just to chat with them and get a little bit of a pep talk, you know, if you want, or or something like that. It's, I find the pep talks, they don't really do too, too much, but you can do that and, and sort of bring them out anytime, anytime you want. And each of these cleaning tasks that you have to do, and this particular one here, this is one of the more interesting ones uh, where you, you're going for a run to get some exercise. This is like... It's almost kind of like Frogger, the old arcade game, a little bit. But I'm going to show you what, what this involves here. Uh, I'm just skipping through the text here. You guys can read this on your own if you choose to play this. Um, but each of these is a separate little puzzle mini game. So you can see this one here. It's almost like Frogger, where you have to get to the other side of the map. But the world only moves when you do, and it moves the same amount you do. So when you move a square, the whole world moves a square. And you have to avoid both other people, there you go, and the cars and other things like this. There's seven of each kinds of these puzzles. I'm not going to go too far into any of them because I don't want to spoil them too much, of course. Um, but, you know, this is uh, some of what you are going to end up dealing with here. So what's cool is you can bounce out at any time. You can replay the puzzles that you've completed before. Uh, or if, you, if you're if you either stuck or you want to go do another kind of puzzle, you can bounce back out to the sort of main area at any time, which is nice. I like the fact that it gives you that uh, that ability. And so you can go over here and you can start this mini game instead. And as you complete these different tasks, 
they you're you know you make your house more appealing and your character starts to feel better and it's sort of trying to give the message like i said before that trying to keep even when your brain makes you not want to do it trying to keep your space sort of clean and organized and bright can really provide long-term benefits to your mental health and like i said i can attest to that personally um that's a lesson i learned you know myself and as you go through each of these different challenges the mini games will get harder and harder some of these i didn't have too much trouble with Others were real brain busters. You know, some of these I was beating my head against for a good while uh, to figure it out. And you'll get through all these things. And like I said, there's some there's some later challenges that I won't spoil. And then, you know, e e the game has the, the, the game just kind of ends with you having completed all your tasks and the lesson from that. I won't go too much further into it than that. One of the things I will say is that I don't feel this did enough with its story. I really like the message it's trying to send, but it didn't really lean into that a lot. Like, you meet all these interesting characters in the game, and nothing really happens with any of them. Like, they don't develop very much outside of these mini-games. You can summon them and talk to them, but they don't really have that much of interest to say. And... I feel like the lesson that they're trying to impart upon you here as the player is an important one and one worth hearing, but they just they just don't go that far into it. I don't want to spoil things too much, but it just it just doesn't feel like the it doesn't it's not that the game feels incomplete. It does feel like it it completed in the way they wanted to, that they achieved what they wanted to. I just feel like from a narrative point of view and from a, I guess, a life lesson point of view, it could have done more than it's done uh, and than it has done here. I was kind of like, I like the message here. I like what you're trying to say, but I think you could have imparted a little, little bit more. There could have been a little bit more writing. There could have been a little bit, a little bit more interest uh, in in discussing that and really saying, you know, this is what we're trying to say here, not beating you over the head with it, but just saying, you know, this is this is what we're trying to say here. And, you know, we're really trying to encourage you that we're rooting for you and that, you know, you can you can you can do better for yourself and it doesn't take a lot. And that's what it's really trying to say here is that it doesn't take a lot to make a big difference in your life. And that's an important lesson that I applaud them for trying to take that lesson and make it into a game. This does feel like it's based on an experience that was personal to one of the creators. And it's cool to, to turn that into something uh, and, and, and into something interesting. I just think, I just think they could have done more with it. That's the only thing I wish, but much like constellations, it's an inexpensive game um, that provides a, a few hours of pretty, you know, decent challenge, decent, but not overwhelming puzzle challenge. And it's got a little bit of an interesting message to it. And, um, you know, the pixel art style in this, it's very basic. It's, it's definitely not um, going to win any awards for visual fidelity or art design or anything like that. Not that I think it looks bad. I think it looks fine. It's just nothing, you know, it, it's, just, it's just a basic style is all. Um, but that's okay. You know, it's, it's not bad. Um, if you were going to tell me, or if you were going to come to me and ask if I want to buy one of these two games, which one should I get? I would probably say Constellations, only because I think Constellations, at least depending on how much of a puzzle fiend you are, uh, Constellations will probably provide more playtime than this would. Uh, Constellations has more replayability in it because of its endless mode. When you beat this, it's kind of one and done. That's it. You're, there's really nothing else to do in it. There's no endless mode. There's no new game plus. There's no anything like that. You finish it and and that's it, right? Um, but it's it is neat and it has a, a a good message. Like I said, I wish it could have done a little bit more with it. I think there's some very valuable <clears throat> lessons that this could have imparted that it kind of doesn't really. Um, but <clears throat> it's a, um, it was a neat little experience and one I'm definitely glad I had. Um, and, uh, 
it, it was good because the puzzles were challenging. Some of them I really, like a couple of them I spent probably more than an hour figuring out. But then a couple of other ones I was like, oh, that's not so bad. Um, and I was like, yeah, okay. You know, once every time I finished them, I felt satisfied. And I didn't feel that I overworked myself, you know? And I was kind of like, all right, this, you know, this is cool. And it was a good couple of hours. It didn't overstay its welcome. And it is still inexpensive. And for the money, I think it's, uh, how you doing? <laughs> I don't think I saw him the first time around. And uh, for the money, I think it's a neat little package. This this is the first game from this developer, and I hope it does well enough that they can take this concept and expand on it. You guys have a really cool idea with this. I just think it needed a little bit more on the narrative front, um, but something that um, I think you could do do something really cool with. And there, it, it's it's nice little mix of different types of puzzles with uh, a, a neat little wrapper around it. So. Yeah, cool game, but uh, I would, if you had to only pick one, I would personally pick Constellations. But yeah, that is Inhabit. It is out now. Um, neat idea. Um, really good effort. I hope it's something that they can, they can do more with. Uh, I think this developer has some pretty cool ideas. Um, and uh, I did enjoy my time with it. But yeah, it just felt like it, it, there was a little something or other that it didn't quite have going forth that it could have but it was still a good time nonetheless so thank you very much for watching everybody i do appreciate it if you like what you saw here please do all the normal youtube things those really do help the channel out a great deal leave a comment down below tell me what do you think of this do you do you know of any other cool little indie puzzle games i guess in general but also ones that like i said have an interesting message like this that's not preaching and that's not beating you over the head but that has a neat message that it's trying to impart upon you through its actual gameplay and mechanical design because i think that's the best way for games to to teach lessons like that and as always you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash px abstraction for multiple variety streams a week i cover other indie games as well as retro stuff over there including a bunch of things that are better suited to streaming than youtube we have a fantastic little community there and i would love to see you be a part of it Thanks again, all, and I'll see you in the next video. You folks have yourselves a good one. Take it easy. I got I got an urge to do some housework, so I think I might go do that.